I'm such a mess. I'm having a hard time easing back into van life. I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't look that good, I know. Eggs are the easiest thing to cook. And I'm gonna boil some potatoes. Yay. When I was working this whole past year, work fed me. So I haven't cooked for like a year and I'm just a mess, but it doesn't matter because we're here having an adventure, right? Right. But am I really a mess? I'm exactly where I want to be, back in my van, in search of stories for science, nature, and people. Life is good. In this episode, I savor the geologic beauty of the Canadian Rockies, northbound on Highway 93. Okay, so there it is. Just some parsley to make it look fancy. Eggs and potatoes are like my adult version of mac and cheese. I love it. My journey started in Calgary, Alberta, my hometown. I thought I'd give myself a fresh start and rinse off the dirty van life hippie look I've been sporting for the past month. My first stop is Lake Louise. So last night I drove to Lake Louise. I was happy to spend $11.50 to stay in this parking lot. I was trying to find a place to stay for free, but then I realized, you know, it's a national park. I should be respectful and pay. This is the cheapest place I could get. And it was lovely. I'm just gonna make some green tea in my van and then I'm gonna maybe head towards Jasper. But before I head to Jasper, I think I'll take another shower. What? This is awesome. So I just found for $5, maybe $5.25, a place to shower, have a hot tub, and a swim. Don't mind if I partake. Normally at a truck stop, you'd spend like $10, $11 just for a shower. You can't beat that, really. And it's pretty ritzy in here. had the idea that mountains with more flat-lying rock layers are higher than mountains with steeper dip angles. Erosion occurs faster when you have rock layers at a higher dip. If you have it more horizontal, erosion is less aided by gravity, so the rock layers are more likely to kind of stay in place. So he's saying that when erosion happens, rock slides happen and it just falls down the hill and then you have new rock that's exposed, which causes the mountains to erode faster. So that is why he thinks some mountains are higher than others. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. To the left, Pulpit Peak and Hector Lake. That one mountain was called Andromache. So yeah, I blew right past Bow Peak. And that Gog group is sitting on top. I think this is the Crowfoot Glacier right here. I'm going to pull over. Okay, so I'm pulled over on the side of the highway. This here is the Crowfoot Glacier. So it looks really small from here, but as I go more north on the highway and look back, I'll see how huge the glacier is. It's really big. In the early 90s, geologists carbon dated cores extracted from the Bow and Crowfoot Lakes and used radiocarbon dating to deduce the age of the advance of the Crowfoot Glacier. They found the time frame corresponds to the Younger Dryas, a period of rapid climate cooling at the end of the last glaciation. The 
The remnants of the last glaciation are on display all along Alberta's Highway 93. I've heard this is one of the most beautiful drives in the world. The views continued to amaze me. But it was time to get out and stretch my legs. Mistaya Canyon, where the glacial runoff from Pedo Lake has been carving its way through the limestone for thousands of years. I have a deep respect for the water, teaching me lessons and the power of persistence. so good. Oh, that is so good. I definitely can't eat that all tonight. I'll have to save some for tomorrow. <laughs> So 
dark. 